quite seen before. Messaging in Midtown demanding people tip more. And it has restaurant workers wondering if the pandemic has made people, well, less likely to fork over some cash. CBS 13's Laura Hafley is in Midtown Sacramento with more on this, Laura. Well, it's these bright pink signs that are catching the attention of restaurant workers in Midtown Sacramento, as you can see, demanding that customers tip 100% at restaurants. Now, employees don't agree with the exact language, but they can certainly get behind the sentiment. Waging a graffiti war in Sacramento of the tipping kind. This is a really hard time for restaurants. Chris Barnum says his staff at Locales didn't put the signs out, but has seen them around the neighborhood. I can appreciate the sentiment that we've got hit the, the hardest. It really does make a difference when people tip. Restaurant regulars say tipping for takeout just wasn't done pre pandemic. When we were at a restaurant in person, we would always tip. But now it's the new normal. Is it something that is important to us, like making sure like the servers are like compensated fairly? For waitress Kristen Schultz, tips have been hard to come by, and she's happy someone is secretly taking a stand. They're tipping still, but it's definitely much lower than when they're sitting and getting the full dining experience. And minimum wage just isn't cutting it. 13 an hour? Okay. It's not livable without tips. The stress level of getting that next tip is awfully high. David Lang is an economics professor at Sacramento State. He says the pandemic has made the hospitality industry particularly unpredictable. People in the service industry who have come to expect tips in order to survive need them even now more than ever. I, I get where some of that, those feelings are coming from. Now there are several restaurants in this area. None of them are claiming responsibility for the graffiti, though they do hope it inspires people to pull out some cash.